Now, this is going to be very interesting. Joe Rogan having a sit-down conversation with Tulsi Gabbard. I can't wait to get into this one. I'm sure y'all can't either. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV. And first things first, yo, check it out. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? Your boy got the official <laughs> Trump mugshot t-shirt that he don't put together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I think it looking kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? It goes perfectly with my John Cena hustle loyalty and respect cap. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Available now. Guys, don't forget. Check out the merch store. You can get your own Trump mugshot uh, merch from my, my shop. You know what I'm saying? And for those of you who may have already purchased the shirt, hey, thank you very much. Very much appreciate that. I will forever be grateful for that. If you haven't picked yours up yet, please, like I said, go check out the uh, merch shop, man. I'm going to have it um, linked beneath the viewing screen. So, yo, I'm saying, I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> enough about the merch. Time to get down to the meat and potatoes of this video. And, um, well, actually, real quick, I just want to say thank you to everybody, you know what I mean, that's been showing uh, the channel some love, you know what I mean, man, we the, the channel is growing like crazy. Last time I checked, we were close to 6,700 family members, so yo, thank you guys so very much for that, and shout out to everybody that's been showing the uh, Trump Latinos uh, reaction videos some some love, you know what I mean, the, uh, the uh, Latinos for Trump uh, video. Reaction video that is. Appreciate everyone, you know, peeping that out and showing that some love, man. Whoo! All right, y'all. Now, now it's time for the meat and potatoes of this video. So Joe Rogan had Tulsi Gabbard on his podcast, and they had, uh, of course, a very nice, extensive conversation. However, we're gonna be looking at the uh, segment where they get into the Maui wildfires. And real quick, before we get just jump right into this, as a bit of an update. From what I've heard, uh, The Rock and Oprah Winfrey has since donated $10 million. Um, I don't know if, if that's both of them with their combined efforts in coming up with that $10 million to donate, or if they each donated $10 million. Someone's going to have to um, clarify that up for me. But I do know that they did, supposedly, uh, donate that, that $10 million. And my response to that is, hey, look, that's great and all. But we all know why they did it. Come on. I mean, it's from all that backlash that is self-inflicted, if you think about it. Um, and yeah, and I bet that really hurt, you know, donating $10 million. I mean, I'm just saying. But anyway, all right, enough with all that. Let's go ahead and get right into this conversation between Joe Rogan and Tulsi Gabbard. But I can hear here. Go. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. You know what they're doing out there? Right? The people in office, you know? Yo, I, I, I didn't know they got uh, BJ Penn on here. Okay, let's go. Well, I mean, Tulsi can speak to that better than anybody. You... I, I don't I don't know um, Mayor Biss. I, I may yeah. have met him in passing, uh, but this has been one of the big failures around uh, the aftermath of the wildfire. On And she's not wrong, man. It is just an all-around fail, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the alleged efforts or the so-called efforts rather in some celebrities you know what i mean trying to supposedly act like they care and you know want to want to get us you know what i mean the people who don't have that much to give you know that are barely getting by to help rebuild the uh, town when you know <clears throat> let's just get back into it maui is this t total vacuum of of information from government officials to the people. And uh, in that vacuum, obviously people have all kinds of ideas or theories or this or that, but people were left without any kind of communication from anyone in a position of authority to provide help for days and weeks. You know, God bless uh, Tulsi Gabbard. I really like the way she carries herself. She's uh, one of those liberals, you know, or, or Democrats that is of sound mind. You know what I mean? She, she has... She, she comes across as someone that is very reasonable, very logical, and everything. You know what I'm saying? She's 
probably the only Democrat, really, that I have any ounce of love and respect for. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yo, also, her being a vet, too. You know what I mean? Yo, I got to give her mad respect for that as well and show some, some real, real appreciation for her efforts. You know what I'm saying? Fighting for our freedom. You know what I mean? I just want to make sure I get that in there. All right, let's get back into it. And it created massive problems. And so, you know, uh, the immediate line of response needed to come from the county and from the mayor and from their emergency response director. And unfortunately, uh, they did not communicate. They're still not communicating. There's still a huge lack of transparency. And therefore... Which is all kinds of suspect. You know what I mean? This fire happens. There was no sirens being, being played. And uh, they... As far as I know, there there's no real good excuse as to why that siren, that siren didn't sound so people can evacuate, you know. And, and it, it's so heartbreaking to hear, too, that those who lost their home, those who lost, lost their land, you know what I mean? They um, basically had their land taken from them. And, um, man, it's just it's just horrible, man. My heart, my heart goes out to the people of Maui. And like I said, man, if I had... If I had the means to do so, yo, I, 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 you know, donate something for them, but, you know, just, just can't right now, you know what I mean? Um, man, it sucks, man, it's, it does. Or an increasing level of uh, distrust in any of the, any of the levels of government that should be bending over backward to, to. Hey, but hopefully, you know, th this lights a fire under the folks over in Hawaii you know what I mean? To urge them to, A, try something new, try something different. Voting blue, it's not the way to go. I mean, look look where it got you now. You know what I mean? Not, not, not to cap, not to be disrespectful or anything. I'm just saying, you know, given with everything that, that's gone on, the, this mysterious fire, you know, that no, I don't think any, anyone's even caring to investigate how, how it even started. But then you had your, you had our president uh, go down there and only give you $700 towards rebuilding. <clears throat> and then you had this, again, this, this these two celebrities, these two Jabrones, you know, come up with this, you know, people's fun for Maui. Bruh. And, um, they finally donated ten million, which, hey, like I said, to to their credit, it's better than that seven hundred that the president gave. I'll give them that much. All right, at least they gave more. I feel like they can give a little more um, with their combined combined efforts. But hey, ten million that that's still a lot of money. That's nothing to to a sneeze at. Um, but it's not enough for them to to save face. You know what I mean? Because again, they only did it because because of the uh, backlash. But you know, but like I said, man, thought, thoughts and prayers go out to the folks in Maui, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, um, you know, they, 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 these, um, people get their city rebuilt and everything and hopefully they, they can go back to normal, man. It's not right. Answer questions and to say, Hey, here's what we're going, here's what's going on every single day. Here's what we're doing. Here's what we're trying to do. Here's what we're having a hard time doing. Whatever the case may be. Um, it, it has just, it, it's, it's been a major problem. From do, the beginning. Do, do you think that this is a complete lack because of a complete lack of preparedness that this is an unprecedented type of disaster it never happened before it happens and they just weren't prepared they don't know what to do and they just it's incompetence I think that that is very true um, and there's you know in hindsight there are things going back as you know Maui has experienced drought year after year after year brush mm. fires are a common occurrence especially on the west side of Maui uh, where Lahaina is, the, the, the side of the island that was most most impacted by this. Um, you know, it is, you know, being prepared for wildfires on Maui is something that if you look at their, you know, emergency assessment documents, uh, it's mentioned almost as, as a bit of an afterthought. Maui fire has been vastly undermanned and under-resourced for quite some time. So there's all these different things you can look at from a preparedness level. And, and, I, and I chalk that up to, you know, a lack of poor, poor leadership. You know what I mean? And again, it goes back to 
how they vote. You know what I mean? You look at the, the, the type of leadership that they vote for and it's like, yo, how much worse does it need to get for you to wake up and realize that this leadership that you keep voting for, it's it's not it. It it you know what I mean? These people don't care about you. Obviously now you're learning the hard way that they don't care about you and it sucks that you have to learn the hard way, but sometimes, you know, that that's what it takes. People gotta learn learn the hard way, you know? Like I said, it, it, it sucks for what the people are going through, man, but, you know, but, you know, this this, this lack of leadership, I mean, it's, it's what you voted for. That, that should have been addressed long before, but from, uh, you know, the, you know, the county officials, uh, yes, they were completely overwhelmed and unprepared. Uh, for this unprecedented wildfire. It's the worst wildfire our country has seen in over 100 years. Uh, but the problem is, once you get to that point, like, oh, shit, this is really, really, really bad, not only in, in the hundreds of lives lost in that fire, but the surrounding communities of people who, who survived, but who went without power, who went without any cell phone signal, any ability to communicate. Bro, and, and that's saying something too. In, 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 and I don't mean to compare, but I mean you look at the the wildfires that we had over here in California, you know, year after year. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it, it doesn't even co compare to the wildfire that they suffered over there in Maui, man. It's it's crazy, man. With people who didn't have, you know, all of the gas stations in their neighborhood. They were empty. There was no way to get gas. They couldn't get food. They couldn't get clean water. The water uh, supply systems were contaminated. So why are they, they being cut off from supplies? You know, like fuel, food, water. I mean, I, I don't understand that. I mean, all of there, there was disaster upon disaster that came in the aftermath of the fire that went unaddressed. And my biggest, I, I, w I went there a few days after uh, the fire happened. Maui was my district for eight years when I served in Congress and uh, had a lot of friends there and went out to those affected communities. And what I heard over and over again was no one from the county, the state or the federal government has shown their face in our community. It is neighbors helping neighbors, families helping families, people on the island of Molokai, which, you know, they they don't have much on their island, everything comes in by barge. They're loading up whatever they have in their general store on these little boats. And Which, that, that, that's insane. I mean, see, I, I'm glad to see that, you know, the people are coming together and they're helping each other in, in, in their time of need and stuff. But where, 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 are these, where are these leaders, these local leaders, you know what I mean, that they continuously vote for to help them? I don't, I don't, this doesn't make sense to me. And, and running them over to West Maui on a private boat dock because that was the only place that they wouldn't be blocked from bringing food and water and medical supplies. Now, why are people being blocked? I keep hearing that about people being blocked. Is it because they haven't gotten an accurate death count? Is it because they have to make an assessment of how much was damaged and it's so ma massive, it's so vast that they haven't been able to do that yet? Like, why is it being blocked? Think, things are, things, so things are being opened up now. I think people are able to, to get... Yeah, I think they're probably being opened up now because, you know, it's raising a lot of suspicion on how they're handling things. So, you know, now they're trying to save face. These leader, these leaders, whoever they are, they're trying to save, save face now. I'm like, okay, we, oh, hey, we better open things up, man, because, you know, we, we do look a little suspect, you know what I mean, with how we're handling things. I mean, I'll just say that's, that's just my uh, speculation there. I, I could be wrong. Maybe there, there's something more into it. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? in and out of the West Maui area. I understand that the the historic town of Lahaina uh, is still being blocked off and they're, they're working on reopening it um, as we speak. But in the, in the couple of weeks after the fire, I don't have a good answer why they continue to block the roads, again, to those surrounding communities, why they had why they blocked people like Kai Lenny and others from using their jet skis and boats to try to bring supplies in through the water. Um, hmm. You could say, well, we want we were trying to secure the area, but you're blocking you're blocking friends and family from coming in and bringing necessary supplies, literally doing supply runs. So, you know, I, I jumped on a, a plane that was doing supply runs 
from Kahului, the main airport on Maui, uh, out to this tiny little airport. Um, so she's basically doing the uh, jobs of the the local leaders. You know what I mean? She's making sure she's overseeing everything to make sure, you know, the uh, folks over there in Maui are getting the stuff that they need. You know what I mean? Supplies and whatnot. And she shouldn't have to be doing the uh, the local mayor's job. You know what I mean? And other county official uh, jobs and stuff. But I mean, if she has to hold their hand. That's not a good look. Uh, that serves that community. And that was, for a lot of days, the only way that they could get supplies uh, brought in. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But again, this goes back to why aren't you communicating to people what's mm -hmm. going on and why you're doing what you're doing? All, all the result of their... It's because they're up to something shady. That's why. There's some shady business going on. You know what I mean? With the, with the land. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean the fact that um, <clears throat> granted Oprah's house was nowhere near the area from what I what I've heard. Um, I mean the fact that still the fact that that she has a house there and her house didn't get touched. This is what what really aggravates me, man. Because she started this whole fundraising thing, but it's like you have a house there. You have enough money for you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Why can't you? you know, be, be there in, in, in town and tell the folks, you get a million, you get a million, you get a million, or you get a house, you get a house, you get a house. Oh my God, man. And then again, all this, this poor leadership, man, having stuff being cut off, you know, having supplies being cut off and refusing to allow people to you know, go get supplies and stuff and bring them back and everything, whether it's by water, by air, or whatever the case. Yeah, man. So there's definitely some, some shady business going on. Her decisions left people and families and communities stranded in their most dire time of need. Yep. And the mayor didn't go out and show his face until almost two weeks after the fire happened. That's insane. It's The mayor doesn't show his face till two weeks after the fact? Wow. Wow, y'all need to vote for a new mayor, man. Or y'all need to recall that mayor. If his term isn't up yet, y'all need to recall that mayor, impeach him, and get someone else from a different party to represent y'all. It's crazy. And then Just says he, he, well, he wants to take the land for the state. That's his first Now, word. this is well, I think one the of the governor. reasons, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, one the of the reasons why Sorry. we wanted to talk about this. Like, how is that possible? That these people could lose their home and then lose their land? Like, how is that possible? It, it is It is the number one concern of people there uh, in Lahaina is that a few days after this happened, I haven't spoken to the governor, but he said in a press conference, he said, we're talking to the attorney general. He said, I'm talking to my attorney general to explore options for the state to take over that land and use it to build workforce housing or build a memorial to the li for, for the people so who insane. lost their lives. Yeah. But the fears that the people in Lahaina have, some of whom, like Archie Kalepa, famous surfer, community leader, Native Hawaiian leaders, family has lived in Lahaina for nine generations, now being told, well, the state, the governor is looking at taking that land, taking ownership of that land. That is cold-blooded. She said nine generations of people who lived in that area are having their their homes and their land taken and they're looking to to have the the uh, state take over that piece of land to do god only knows what with it that it, it is unconscionable and there's oh you know we'll we'll you know for those who've been displaced we'll see about doing a land swap and we'll send you to the big island to live in puna well We'll see about doing a land swap and we'll put you in some other area. And the way that they say it, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Like, like, like it, it's like, it's not even like, like an afterthought. Like it's something that, you know, that they're, they're just going to forget about and not follow through on. Jesus. It's 
taking away the sovereignty of people's rights to have a say over their home in many cases their generational lands mm. is is uh it it is such an abuse of power and so this is and i'm, I'm she, she's 100 percent correct on that I'm, I'm glad that there are leaders in the community who are leaning into this fight to make sure that they are fighting this fight before anybody tries to do that rather than looking in the rearview mirror and saying, gosh, I wish we had done something. But just imagine a governor going on television after a massive tragedy where you have, we don't even know the number of people dead yet. You have this massive area that's been burnt to the ground. Yeah. And then he starts talking about taking it over from, for the state. That's an insane position to take. It is. Post-tragedy. Yeah. When and people I, I, are suffering at their most, they can't yeah. even believe it happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden he's saying, we're going to take it for the state and make yeah. a memorial? Yeah. How about give the fucking people their homes exactly. back? Thank you. Thank you. Either that or... No, no. There, there's no either in this case. Like he said, give them their, their, their home back. Give them their, their land back and rebuild their homes. Exactly. You know, one of the things yeah. we went over yesterday, which is a crazy number, we were looking at the amount of money that was accidentally sent to Ukraine. Like they, they, they mm -hmm. oversent six billion. <laughs> and then I said, well, how much would it cost to rebuild every house mm -hmm. in the Maui fire? And it's five billion, five mm -hmm. billion something. Yeah. Like they, that's just like accidental money. Yeah. But there's no talk of doing that. Yeah. There's no talk of doing that. Isn't that interesting? The, the way, the way, and it had. Wow. So okay, five billion, right? And we 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 know Oprah's worth three point five billion. We know The Rock is worth eight hundred million. So between the yeah two of them, they can at least spare. They they can at least come up with. Um, with their combined efforts, uh, I want to say, well, maybe about one to two billion, which is a lot closer to what it would cost to rebuild that land. I mean, that would get a, hook, a good portion of that land rebuilt, a, a good portion of that whole area that, that was burned down uh, rebuilt. Oh man! Oh, but no. Let, let's let's ask the uh, working class people if they if they want to chip in and whatever. No, 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 no. Y'all 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 go handle that. One of y'all got family ties in that area. The other one has a house in the area. So y'all y'all go take care of that. Y'all y'all go handle, man. Ten million. Y'all y'all can do better than that. Ten million is, is a lot of money. I'm not discounting that. It is a lot of money, but they can do better than that. Come on now. It's happened two or three times now where the Pentagon has said, oh, we miscalculated how much money we had set aside for Ukraine. So we have an extra four billion to send now that we didn't know we had. And this has happened a few times. So they got an extra four billion to spare. OK, so give Maui that, that four billion then. Like, what, what, what the hell, man? Secretary of State Tony Blinken went to Kiev yesterday promising, hey, we're going to give you another billion now. And this is the thing. When I was out there in Maui, person after person was like, Tulsi, tell me what would happen if we started to call ourselves Ukraine? You think they would give us some money then mm. to take care of our families, right. to put, to <laughs> fix our roofs, you know, yeah. that, that have been torn? I don't know if that's necessarily a laughing matter, but I mean, she has a point there. Yeah. Or the people rather ha have a point. Yeah, what if we start labeling ourselves as y Ukraine? Will, will they start then sending us money or whatever? You know what I mean, like I guess basically trick them in order to send up the uh, the uh, folks in Maui some money so they can rebuild their land. Torn up by the hurricane winds that came through to make sure we have clean water to drink. You think they might pay attention to us then? And then the and then FEMA comes out. The FEMA director comes out and does this press conference. I think it was at the White House, and she says. Well, someone said, well, what are you doing for Maui? She's like, oh, we're giving a one-time $700 payment to everybody who's been impacted by the white. And I bet y'all thought I was lying. They're giving them a one-time payment of $700. You may as well tell those people to go screw themselves while you're at it. Wildfire, a one-time $700 payment. 
It's insane. Hawaii has the highest cost of living in the entire country. The entire country. And how freaking insulting is it to have the repres- the lead disaster response administrator from the Biden administration stand there and proudly say, hey, we're giving everybody one $700 payment. I guarantee you, if I saw that rep, you know, smiling at me, say, oh, yeah, we're doing a, you know, you know, one time $700 payment to the good folks in Maui. That's it? Just $700? Yeah. Cool, right? Get the hell out of here with that $700 payment. Y'all better go do do more than that. It's insane. And it's insane, especially because of how much money we're sending to Ukraine. Yeah. Because there's there can be no doubt that these things are financially motivated now. And Joe is not wrong in his suspicion there. Um, yeah, man, it's just insane where, where our leaders' priorities are <sighs> when it comes to our people, our country. And they wonder why people are, more people are now, you know, waking up and are realizing, yo, Trump is the way to go as far as, like, our president is concerned. Because Trump is the guy who always said, yo, the people come first, our country comes first, America first. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, had had Trump, um, if Trump was currently serving his second term right now, he would have been out there in Maui, in Maui a lot sooner than than Joe Biden was. I'm just saying. Bruh. Anyways, y'all. Man, that, that is so heartbreaking. You know what I mean? And like, and, and like I said, man, I hope this serves as a wake-up call as far as how we vote for our leaders. You know what I'm saying? We, we, need, we need a change in leadership. But, it, you know, again, my heart goes out to the folks in Maui. They don't deserve to have what has happened to them. You know what I mean? They don't deserve to be in the spot that they're in right now. You know? And, uh, yeah, man. Just thoughts, prayers, positive vibes, man, that they, they get to go back to normal. And that's pretty much all I got to say, y'all. And, yeah, man. <clears throat> Feel free to sign off in my comment section down below. Let me know where y'all stand. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. It's your boy Jason JV said, till the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. All right, peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm after the next video. Who's saying what's up to me? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm not gonna be too happy. I'm gonna be expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!